In the last video, we introduced the concept of the integrating factor to turn differential equations which aren't exact into exact differential equations. In general, finding an integrating factor is very difficult. Uh, however, there is one particular case for which we can find uh, a general solution with the integrating factor. And that is for the linear first order ODE of this form. So you have a first order uh, derivative term, or you have a function only of x multiplying y, and this is equal to a general function of x. We're going to rewrite this as p times y minus qx, all this multiplied by dx plus dy, which is equal to zero. So we've recast this equation into the form that we're used to, to identify uh, an exact differential equation. So you should recognize the term axy being equal to p of x times y minus qx and bxy is just one. So uh, the only thing multiplying dy is one. And it turns out that for this particular case, our integrating factor, which in general can depend on both x and y, only depends on x. So it's only a function of x. So when we try to transform this into an exact differential equation, remember that we need to satisfy the following condition. Now, because our integrating factor mu is only a function of x, this is basically a constant, which you can take out of the derivative. Bxy is just one. So we're left with this. Our partial derivative can be for this one can be transformed into an ordinary derivative because this is only a function of x. And then axy we said was equal to p of x times y minus q. So taking the derivative of that with respect to y. We're left with this. So this is now a separable first order equation, which we know how to solve. This has, uh, so this, you can separate it into terms with mu and terms only of x. And then integrating both sides and massaging that a little bit you're left at the integrating factor as the following form. So it's e to the power of the integral of p of x with uh, integrated with respect to dx. And remember p of x was this factor multiplying the y in our general form. So we've managed to find a general expression for our integrating factor. So we can go back and rewrite our linear ordinary differential equation. Let's follow. So initially it looked like that. You can check for yourself that it can be rewritten like this. 
So if you take this derivative over here, you should recover the term on the left-hand side to within a, uh, a factor mu of x. Integrating both sides with respect to x. Again, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, you're only left with the term inside the derivative on this side. Over here, you have your integral with respect to x. And in general, we have an integration constant. So this says e px y of x. Okay, so we're getting closer. Now the only thing we're left to do is isolate y of x by bringing this term over to the other side. And we're left with a general solution that has the following form. Okay, so over here we have our integrating factor, one over the integrating factor, which is e to the power of the integral of px dx. Over here we have an integral of our integrating factor times the function q of x plus an integration constant. And this is our general solution to uh, an ordinary differential equation of this form. In the next video, we'll uh, show with in an example how to, uh, to use this uh, general formula in practice.